Hey guys, I thought I'd just do a little update. So, right now I'm battling a little bit of diet, well actually a lot of diatoms. It took a while to show up, you know, with new sand, new live sand, which I put in back at the end of January. It took about a month for them to really show up, and so here they are. So, I know it's the silicates probably found in the live sand, so... Um, but, but they're slowly starting to recede, so that's a good thing. And there's my fat uh, red chorus wrasse after making a meal out of that leopard wrasse. But the more I think about it, I, I'm pretty sure that leopard wrasse had died because unfortunately, I did. You know, he didn't look that great when I got him from the local fish store, and he was so cheap because the local fish store. I didn't go to my normal local fish store. I went to another one, and he didn't. Um, he was eating at the local fish store, but the guy didn't even know he was a leopard grass. So he had it labeled as just black grass, and it was like very cheap, like a fourth of the price of a normal leopard grass. So, but I knew better because I, you know, he didn't look that great because the guy, the local fish store had um, gr like crushed gravel, you know, or, or you know, crushed coral as far as you know for the substrate in the tank and you know as we know sand bearing wrasses need to fine fi you know finer substrate so um anyway so i think he was kind of doomed from the start you know and i should have known better so my mistake there so i do think he had died in the, you know the red chorus wrasse spends a lot of the time during the day digging in the sand like a lot of my wrasses do and so I think he just dug him up, or he was partially out, or whatever. So, other than that, everything's okay. I kind of had to move a few things around here. Um, you know, I moved these corals over here, closer to that rock, you know, that my, my anemone island there. And, because um, my red chorus wrasse, he, like I said, two tips anything over. So, they were kind of out here in the middle, so. And then there's some sand in my A-can which is courtesy of one of the wrasses. It could be any of them. Um, but everything seems to be going along. So, and there's my, my torch coral that I lost two heads on a few weeks ago, and I did an iodine dip on it and cut the two heads off that had died, and it seems to be um, making a comeback. So I'm hoping they'll grow some more heads for me because it did start out, as two heads and then it grew into um four and then i lost two so i'm hoping it'll rebound because i don't know if anybody's checked the price of some of the nicer torus corals but they have really skyrocketed i mean i saw some australian gold torch corals the other weekend that were two hundred dollars for one head which is crazy but it was beautiful i mean i will say it was absolutely stunning torch coral but it was an australian gold torch coral and again it was two hundred dollars a head for this torch coral so I, that's crazy um so and there's my carpet anemone he had moved he was over there and he had decided he liked it over here better which i don't blame him so there he is and then there's my a can that was having so much trouble um, I don't know what happened to the back of it. I had to um, trim it, so I took it up to my... I don't have a, a bandsaw, so I took it up to my local fish store, and they um, trimmed the, the dead skeleton away for me, and then I d did an iodine dip on it. So, And that was about a month ago, and it's doing much better. Thank God. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I'm just battling these diatoms in the sand. And other than that, nothing else is happening with the old tank. Um, so, and again, at some point, I'm going to get a, a regal angelfish, a red sea regal. Uh, angelfish, probably not until the summer, though, I'm thinking. You know, but I want to wait until I get a good, healthy specimen that's eating and all that kind of stuff. So I'll have the local fish store order one for me. Um, so... But other than that, everything is going really good with the old tank. Um, 
so and I did put some purigen in the the sump or not not purigen sorry phosgard in the sump you know I run chemipure blue normally but um I decided I need you know need something to start removing some of these silicates so I went ahead and added some phosgard as well so I added three pouches of that too um but hopefully that'll make a dent it's you know looking a little better today than it did yesterday so and I just put it in yesterday so hopefully that will help out all right everybody well thanks for watching and happy reefing and I appreciate everybody's support on this channel thank you